Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Blush Lacquers. So I have the In the Garden Creams collection, I have the Opposites Attract collection, and then I also have a wedding duo to share with you. All of today's polishes will go on sale July 26th, so in the description box below I will link the blush site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So we have a total of 14 polishes to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So starting with the Wedding Duo, we have I Do, and this is described as a sheer, warm toned taupe with a subtle golden shimmer and a light scattered hollow. So here's our first coat of I Do. This one's pretty sheer here on this first coat. The formula is really smooth and easy to work with though. I had no troubles with running or pulling on this one. I did work in relatively thin coats as well. So here's our second coat and it's building up well in two coats and if I was to wear this out, this is probably how I would wear it with a nice, dainty, elegant look to it. This one is gonna dry decently glossy all on its own. You will want a top coat to finish this off just to keep your manicure lasting as long as possible. So here's our third coat and that does cover for the most part in three coats. Nothing in here is gonna dry textured um, as this is mostly those little flakes and then nothing in here is gonna be difficult to remove again because these aren't glitter. So there is three coats. And then we have I Do and this is described as a slate navy blue cream. So here's our first coat of something blue. So this one is a little bit sheer and patchy here on this first coat, but again, the formula is very nice to work with. This does feel like one where if you did too thick of a coat, you might have issues with it running down the sides of your nails. So just bear that in mind. And two, with this being the shade that it is, you definitely wanna wear a base coat to prevent staining. I didn't have issues with staining, but just in case this is a kind of color that stands for you, you will want it. This one is gonna dry down to kind of like a satiny finish, so you will want a glossy top coat for that reason, as well as keeping your manicure lasting as long as possible, and nothing in here is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Moving on to the In the Garden Creams, we have Peaches and Peonies, and this is just described simply as a peach cream. This one, you know how peaches usually have like an undertone of either like orange or pink? I don't think this one has an undertone. It's just kind of peach. Here is our first coat of Peaches and Peonies. And this covers really well here in this first coat, especially considering how light of a shade this is. Formula on this one is very good and smooth, easy to apply. I just have some unevenness happening that I would like to cover up with a second coat. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats for me. For all of these creams, depending on your application, you may need two to three coats, but for the most part, I am gonna show you what two coats looks like. This is gonna dry glossy all on its own. Nothing in here is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have Darling Dahlia, and this is described as a warm, medium-toned coral cream. Here's our first coat of Darling Dahlia. And this one does seem more like a crelly than a cream, like the last polish was a more cream polish. Formula is still very smooth and easy to work with. Again, no running or pulling or staining with this one either. So here's our second coat, and it does cover completely in two coats. This one's also gonna dry nice and glossy all on its own. That top coat is just there to protect your manicure and keep it lasting. And once again, nothing is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have Pick and Poppies, and this is described as a red-orange cream. Here's our first coat of Pick and Poppies. This one covers really well here on this first coat and really evenly. It's just the tensiest bit sheer, so I am gonna go for a second coat. This one is also leaning on the side of a more crelly finish. Formula, very smooth and easy to work with, and these blush brushes do make it easy to get nice and close to your cuticle. 
So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. Like all the other creams, this one is going to dry nice and glossy all on its own. A top coat, again, to protect your manicure, and nothing's going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Next up we have Eucalyptus Mint, and this is described as a spring green cream. I would say this is kind of in the family of kiwi. Here's our first coat of Eucalyptus Mint. This one is a little bit more sheer than anything else we've looked at so far, and patchy, so I am going to continue to build this up in three coats for you today. Formula is the same though, very smooth and easy to work with, again more on that creamy side of a curly finish. So I just have a couple little strokes here on our second coat. If you're careful with application and work a little bit thicker, you could probably get this one opaque in two coats, but I was working relatively thin, so I am gonna go in for three coats today. So here is our third coat, and that does cover completely in three coats. This one is also going to dry glossy, so the top coat's there just to protect your manicure. This is a shade, though, that I think is going to be universally flattering, flattering on all skin tones, which I think is just absolutely a, a beautiful thing. So there's three coats. Up next we have Time After Time, and this is described as a Kelly Green Cream, and I would say this is in the family of an avocado. Here's our first coat of Time After Time, and this one does lean more on the jelly side of a Corelli formula. It is, once again, still smooth and easy to work with. I had no troubles with running or pulling or staining. This one is going to be another two to three coater depending on your application. I am going to show you what two coats looks like today. So that is completely opaque in two coats for me. This one is going to dry once again nice and glossy all on its own. You will want a top coat to keep your manicure lasting once again. And nothing's going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. And lastly for the creams, we have Vining Ivy, and this is a medium dark leafy green cream. And since we're describing all of these greens as food, I would say this one leans towards the family of a pickle. And here's our first coat of Vining Ivy. So this one's pretty sheer on the first coat, um, and it's much, much darker on the bottle. So I am going to build it up in two coats for you today. I was actually really surprised to see that for this one I didn't need a third coat um, because of the vast color difference between one and two coats. So there's our second coat and that does build up to opacity. This one is also going to dry nice and glossy all on its own just like everything else. I didn't have any kind of staining with this one either being the darkest green shade which greens do tend to stain me so I didn't have anything happening with this one. So there is two coats. And then going in with the opposites attract shimmers, we have Kiss and Makeup, and this is described as a peach base with a teal to blue to purple shifting shimmer. So here's our first coat of Kiss and Makeup. So this one covers pretty well, considering it is the lightest shade in the pinky toned shimmers. Formula is very smooth and easy to apply, and that shimmer stands out really, really nicely against the base color. Here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats for me. Depending on your application with all these shimmers, again, I'm going to show you two coats for most of them. You may end up needing a third coat. This is going to dry down dull, so you'll want a, a top coat for that, but nothing's going to be textured or difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have Kill em With Kindness, and this is described as a warm, medium-toned coral base with a teal to blue to purple shifting shimmer. Here's our first coat of Kill em With Kindness. This one's also a little bit sheer on this first coat, but the formula is once again very smooth and easy to work with. All of the creams that we looked at today can also be layered under these shimmers for... I mean, they, they look the same, like built up in two coats, this one looks the same as it would being layered over its counterpart of a cream, um, but if you didn't want to do three coats of this, that is a good way to wear this one as well. 
So there is two coats. Up next we have Stop in the Name of Love and this is described as a red-orange base with a teal to blue to purple shifting shimmer. Here's our first coat of Stop in the Name of Love. This one does cover pretty well here in this first coat. It's not entirely opaque, so I am going to go in for a second coat. But again, the formula is very smooth and easy to work with. And again, if you didn't want to build this one up on its own, you can wear it over its cream counterpart. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. This one is also going to dry down pretty dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off, and it'll also keep your manicure lasting. The shimmer stands out nicely, but it's not going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Next up we have Sorry Not Sorry, and this is described as a spring green base with a pink to orange to gold to green shifting shimmer. Here's our first coat of Sorry Not Sorry. So this one is pretty sheer here on this first coat. Formula is very smooth and easy to work with as well, no running or pulling or staining. This is the only shimmer that I needed the full three coats for, but depending on your application, again, you could get away with two coats on this one, you might need a third coat for the rest of them. It all just depends on how you apply your polish. So I am gonna show you what three coats of this looks like today, but the uh, shimmer in this one does stand out really, really nicely as well. So here's our third coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. Once again, this one is gonna dry down on the dull side, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this one off, but nothing's gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove, but this shimmer in all of them can get a little bit messy. So there's three coats. Next up we have Green with Envy, and this is described as a Kelly Green base with a pink to orange to gold to green shifting shimmer. Here's our first coat of Green with Envy. So this one is a little sheer on this first coat. Formula is, again, very smooth and easy to apply. And again, this blush brush does make application a breeze and you can get nice and close to your cuticle without having to actually work for it. So here's our second coat and that does cover completely in two coats for me. The shimmer that's in here stands out so nicely, so beautifully against the base color. And as much as you see it in the bottle is as much as you're gonna see it on the nail. So I appreciate that. So there's two coats. And lastly for today we have Go With The Flow and this is described as a medium dark leafy green base with a pink to gold to green shifting shimmer. And here's our first cut of Go With The Flow. This is another one that really surprised me along with its um, cream counterpart because it is so dark in the bottle I figured I would need three coats of this but it is fully opaque and does match the color in the bottle in just two coats. So formula is very smooth and easy to apply. No running or pulling or staining. So like I said, complete opacity in two coats. This one is going to dry down dull, so you'll want a glossy top coat to finish this off. That shimmer stands out so well, and it's not going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. So my favorite of everything from today is Eucalyptus Mint. This is such a cute color. This is... It leans more towards the like spring going into summer uh, shades, but it's something that I personally wear year round. Has a good formula, very, very beautiful and flattering on many skin tones, so Eucalyptus Mint is easily my favorite. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.